Hello from IBC 2023. I meet together with Till Sudworth from uh, NPOR. Hello, Till. Hello. Nice to meet you. Till is head of video analytics, and we're going to ask you some questions now about the latest uh, news you have to share during IBC, and uh, yeah, then we we'll take it from there. Sounds great. Thanks for having me. Perfect. So, what are you showcasing at this year's IBC? So. First of all, I mean, we have an entire Empo suite with different products that we, that we uh, show to our customers. And of course, we show the entire Empo suite. We have two new products um, that we are showing this year. One is a product analytics um, tool where we have more the um, data insights towards the, uh, the business owners, the marketing department. So that is more, contains more KPIs like um, content usage, audience uh, analytics, content consumption patterns, user journey, how does the user uh, uses what kind of features in your app. So that is something that we have in product analytics and with that product we are facing complete new target group because until then we are facing more the engineers, with that product we are facing the, the uh, marketers and business owners of the companies. So that is one thing which of course we have a lot of talks on the IBC with, uh, with uh, different customers. Oh, okay. Thank you. Can, you. can you provide us some more insights about your latest new products? Yeah. So the latest new products are um, publisher analytics um, on the one side. On the other side, uh, the, the so-called Nokia uh, probes that we acquired. Publisher analytics is a product where a lot of our, our customers, um, when they are publisher houses as well as a video platform, they have the challenge that they need to use the place on the home screen very wisely. So they need to know exactly which, which content, which text, which edit, and uh, which, uh, which pictures works the best in terms of click rates, but also in terms of engagement of the, of the end user. And we have a tool where you can easily test that in terms of an A-B testing. That means that you basically have two different pictures, two different, different text versions. Let them run against each other, and the winner automatically wins in terms of that it's automatic selected as the, the new content. Okay. And that is something that is uh, super interesting for our publisher customers, and uh, that is one new uh, product of, of us in the Empo suite. The other is an acquisition that we just lately also announced in the press release, I think two days ago. Um, so we acquired um, a, 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 a subsidiary of Nokia. Um, which uh, basically is a, 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 a solution that is super complementary to our solutions. Because what we did until now, we had the client analytics in terms of that we analyze the perceived quality of experience. So everything that happens really in front of the end user in the client, that we could analyze. Um, the entire infrastructure from the content ingest until the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the client was um, uh, analyzed by partners like Telestream and Touchstream. But there was something in the middle that was missing, and that is basically that what we have now with, um, with these probes that we acquired, software and hardware probes, uh, where we basically offer our customers a, a few to see from a client, from an end user perspective, the, the quality of service. So they really have the possibility to see within the content. So they see freezers, they see um, black screens uh, with, that, with that solution, and that is just the, the last you know, centimeter in the, in the mile that we needed to have really a full end-to-end -end view on, on the end. On the, on so the, that's actually a new in-depth analytics for your clients, actually, yeah. to see it more, more detailed and specialized. Exactly. They had, until then, they had the, the, the perceived quality from an end user perspective. They had the end-to-end -end view from uh, monitoring from telestream or touchstream perspective from partners with us. And now the last thing was missing and that we filled that gap uh, is basically to see the content in the client with these probes. Oh, yes, thank you. So l let me come back to the publisher analytics. So what from your perspective are the main advantages and benefits for, for example, the publishers and the editorial teams? The advantages are that they know exactly and they, you know, I mean, often they, they don't know which pictures cl clicks. And it, I mean, the point is there that the, the space is rare. They need to have, you know, good engagement of their, of their readers, of their users. Mm -hmm. And with that tool, the advantage is that they can really um, ensure that they have the best picture, the best uh, uh, version of the copy uh, on their home screen every time, right? Because they can run different tests, they can run different versions at the same time, and always the winner will remain and the loser will get it kicked out, and therefore they just increase the click-through rate, they increase the healthy click-through rates in terms of engagement yes. of the content, and that is a huge benefit for them. So it's quite a trial process for them then at the end Absolutely. of the day. Yeah. Okay, very interesting. 
So when, when we look at uh, video streaming in general and the industry, so what would you say from your experience on one side as NPAR and also in general as a conclusion, what do you see as the main trends? Yeah, so from an from a experience with our customers, we see that clearly the, 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 um, the quality of, of, of experience is, is increasing. Um, so we see that the major quality KPIs like buffer ratio, um, um, they are constantly decreasing. Uh, and it, I mean, it's, it's kind of clear. We have a, a huge competitor, a competition out there. So the, 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 the platform providers, they are kind of forced to really offer the best quality to the end user. And they did their homework, to be honest, right? I mean, we see that they don't, they, they try to avoid buffer ratio by increasing the join time in terms of that it takes longer than the video to start, but then when it starts, you have a, a cleaner run through. And that is something that we all experience as an end user as well, as we also are, uh, is something that we want, right? We, uh, we ac accept, in, well, it's a little different when it comes to live content, right? Because then you don't want to be <laughs> the person who sees <laughs> that as a goal the 10 content minutes content later. Last, yeah. um, but if it's not live content, uh, that's the, the, the trade-off that everyone is willing to take. A little longer join time and therefore a better quality of work. Okay. okay, very interesting, thank you. So how do you see the next five years from NPOS perspective, so what is the outlook for the future? So I, I think, I mean, we, we, we see a lot of trends like, like fast, of course, we, are, we see um, a lot of trends like AI, but what we also see is that the industry as such getting, gets more data driven. I mean, what, what was super natural in the e-commerce industry, for example, for the last 20 years almost, is now finally, uh, you know, arrived in, in, in the video industry market. And so as we have in the streaming market, we do have the data. Uh, why don't use it, right? Yeah. So we, we see that more and more uh, decisions are made more on based on data yeah. and not on gut's feeling. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a healthy trend. And uh, therefore, we see pretty, uh, you know, um, positive in the future because that's exactly what we offer. And uh, basically, we see that the demand um, for, for data is, is increasing amongst our customers. Just out of curiosity, do you see that AI also plays a significant role in that? How to, let's say, understand data and use data? It does, it does. It, it's extremely supports us actually, because having data is a once and first step, it's an important step, but the more important step is of course, doing something with the data, right? Really using the data, improving your platform, improving your offer based on the data. Yes. And we see that there's still a, a you know, insecurity amongst our customers and, and, and in the industry about that topic. So often people say, yes, we know we need data and, and it's great that we have now data, but what do we actually do with the data? And with, um, with AI, that step can, take, you know, can be covered by AI because AI sees exactly, they can take all these incredible huge amount of different data points, um, convert them into knowledge very fast and, and convert them into actions very fast, right? So you reduce the um, time to solution massively and that is something that our customers are requesting from us. Mm. We have first offers and first solutions, AI based, and we are still constantly going to work on this. So that for sure going to be a major component on the roadmap for the next years for us. Yeah. So bright future ahead. Hopefully, yeah, but no, seriously, we, we are pretty positive. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time, Till. Thank you so much for having me. That was Tech African News from IBC 2023. You can find more on our website, techafricanews.com. See you there. Thank you.